I'm Wendy with Country Bumpkin Homestead. A rabbit's gestation period is between 28 and 32 days. It's been 27 days since we bred Darla. And that means she's getting ready to have babies. I like to wait until she's about 27 days before putting in the nesting box. If you put it in too early, she could eat up all the hay or urinate on it. And today when I opened up her hutch, I noticed something special. She has continued to work on her nest. It just so happens that today is the day that I'm going to be putting in her real nest. So let me show you what we got. I'm using a wire nesting box. There's a lot of reasons why I like wire nesting boxes. During the summer, the babies will overheat if they don't have airflow. And this allows airflow. Plus, uh, the wooden ones can get very nasty because the, the babies are in there for a good little while, a couple of weeks, and they'll start urinating and peeing on it. They'll get chewed on. And so they, they just start to look really bad after a while. What I'll do is I will line this with a cardboard. <coughs> you know, like an old shipping box or something. I'll line it and during the winter. And that will prevent, you know, the, the baby bunnies getting too cold, getting a draft. Also, I can take the old cardboard out after the nest has been removed from the cage. And I will put that cardboard in my compost pile. The size of your nesting box is gonna depend on the size of your rabbit. Do you have a petite dwarf rabbit, a standard, or a giant? I'm going to discuss rabbit box sizes in a future video when we're making a few more for our upcoming does. If you'd like to watch that video, be sure to subscribe. Look at her belly bulging out at the side. Can you see that? Jeez. All right. Well, I've got my lined nesting box. She likes to put her nest in the back corner. I'm going to put that little nest that she's got made. I'm going to put it in my box here. And hopefully she'll accept the nesting box. Plus I'm going to give her some more building material. All right. So now I've got the box lined. I put her old nest in it. And I'm going to give her some more hay or straw so that she can add some finishing touches. Something else I need to tell you, and this is very important. Because rabbit pellets are high in protein, your dough is going to produce a lot of milk. In fact, she's going to make so much that her new kits are gonna have a hard time eating it all. Her breast will get enlarged or engorged. This is called mastitis. And it will prevent the kits from being able to eat. So what will happen is you're gonna lose your kits, they're gonna starve, and you're gonna lose your dough because her others will begin to rot. So it's always important to reduce the feed a couple of days before she kindles. Take away 25% of the pellets that you usually give her. She's not gonna like this. She's gonna throw big fits. She's gonna act like she's starving. But as long as she's got some rough hay in there, she'll be fine. She just doesn't need all that high protein pellets. You can start increasing her pellets a couple of days after she's kindled. Unless, of course, she's had an enormous litter and she needs all the milk she can get. Thanks for watching my video. Ever since I was a young girl helping my uncle with his rabbitry, I've been learning the tips and tricks on how to raise rabbits. If you'd like me to share some of my knowledge with you, please watch my series on raising rabbits on YouTube. Thanks again and have a blessed day.